says, Brian, it's time for another Jeep video. This is Jeep 51 of my salvage Jeep build. So I had to take the engine out in order to straighten the frame. I'm doing some preventative maintenance. I've already done the rear main seal. I've already checked the bearing clearances. Engine's in great shape, no rebuild necessary. But while I'm here, I wanna go ahead and change the oil pump. It's got 111,000 miles on it. It's probably just fine but I want to change the oil pump because it's not a very expensive part and it's a whole lot easier to do it with the vehicle out uh, or the engine out of the vehicle. So we're going to put in a, a metaling oil pump. Um, and you know what? I still got to put this bracket back in, but I'll do that in a minute. It's not a big deal. So let's go ahead and get the old one out. Uh, these look like 13 millimeter bolts. That is, that is, that is. So let's just go ahead and get this out. I'm gonna need a short 13 millimeter. That's a quarter. I don't think I like this. That's the 13. All right. So like I do with a lot of these bolts, I am going to stick these in cardboard so I know where they came from. Clearances leave a lot to be desired here. gloves on. I am really curious what the inside of this pump looks like, so I might actually go ahead and take these bolts off. Let me see if I can quickly find uh, the socket. Those look like maybe tens. Yes, they are tens. Pretty good at eyeballing this stuff. This uh, pump's going to the recycle bin, um, but I just want to know, what's it look like on the inside? You know, did I need to change the pump today or not? You know, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I guess I'll just set them there. So I've got some buildup. It's sludge, so it's coming right out, no big deal. No real wear on the pump. Gears look like they're in nice condition, but normally it's going to be the wear on the ends that's the problem. And there's not really a good way to judge that, so I'm going to go chuck this in the recycle bin. I'm sure the city will hate me for that, but that's where it's headed. Back in a flash. All right, so um, we put the gasket back in. The 
new gasket. And then this just goes in here like this. And these are 17 foot pounds, so it's not a whole lot. Now this is the standard oil pump. Um, did some research and I don't think the high volume is something that needs to be installed. Your mileage may vary. That's just what I think. So I didn't put it in. Oh, yes, we're missing something. We're missing the pickup tube and it's held in with this bolt. So let's see if we can put the pickup tube in. I hear the pickup tube is a pain in the ass to put in. Um, it says you're supposed to replace it. So I did. It was about 20 bucks. It would have been nice if it had shown up already installed. It would been real nice. Okay, yeah, it is a pain in the ass. It does not look like it wants to go in properly. So let me pull the pump and see what's going on. I've heard all sorts of rumors about how this gets done. never can really find what I'm looking for when I'm looking for it. So 16 millimeter wrench fits around this and it's fixing to be used as press. Let me relocate somewhere where I can press this and I'll be back. should be okay. That doesn't fit. But that's okay. I'm not I'm not super worried about that. that ain't no way. So that's a relief valve.
Okay, so I was on the right track here. You do want to hit this. Um, it really is a two-person project. And that's the problem. I only have me. Time to up the game. Oh, shitty design. Again, the problem here is this is really something that two people need to do. One person needs to hold it exactly there, and then somebody else needs to beat the hell out of it. Okay, got it started. So I'm going to crank it. Okay, so that's good right there. The bowl hole lines up, we're done. That's how you press fit this piece of shit on. Okay, so now that I have the pump assembled, I can make sure wipe any dirt off and drop it back in its hole. Okay. So we're going to do a little little nut bolt first. And it's best not to move the pickup tube, so you know, any more than you absolutely have to. So you you want to make sure that it lines up when you put it together. I had to bend this out a little bit. It was bent too close to in. All right. So 
So now we've got to tighten it to 17 uh, foot pounds. So let me get my torque wrench set up. I'll be right back. Okay, so I cannot get in there without an extension. I don't like to use extensions on torque wrenches because it's easy to misapply the torque, but that's what has to be done here. Acting like it could be a half inch. Uh, something else you want to get me to cuss? Mix bolt sizes inside an engine. That will piss me off. All right, it was a half inch. Again, it's just shit pisses me off when they mix in, uh, bolt sizes inside the engine. I don't understand for the slightest why they couldn't have done everything standard on this engine. All right, so that's replacing the oil pump. That's really all there is to it. Um, I've got a rubber eraser in there that needs to come out, and then I really could put the oil pan gasket on. So. That's what's going to happen next. So thanks for watching. I hope this video helped. I especially help. I, so many people have trouble with this. I especially hope that helped. It's a 16 millimeter wrench is what grabs this shoulder and presses it in. Um, thanks for watching, everybody.